Hi, my name is Vivek Adhikari. I am an English instructor. In today's class, we are going to solve the reading and listening portion of Unit 7, that is, a clever little girl and an ogre. So, let's begin. All right, we are now going to start Unit 7, and the title of the unit is A Clever Little Girl and an Ogre. So, that's the title. By the way, what is the meaning of the word ogre? So, if you're not sure, it is a monster in fairy tales. So they are big, you know, we can call them giants feeding on humans. So those people, those monsters are called ogre, giants feeding on humans. All right. So that is the meaning of ogre. By the way, in this chapter, we are going to do two things. First, we are going to look at the listening section and we will also read the story. So we are going to do Two things by the way okay listen to the audio script and read the story so those are the two things we are going to do by the way in this section called clever little girl and an ogre so let's begin let's look at the first section it says look listen and say so that's the first section by the way it says look listen and say before doing that, let's look at these two pictures. In the pictures, we see Anisha and Onisha. The names are pretty similar. So we have Anisha and Onisha. Okay, so these two girls are talking about something. In fact, they are planning about something. Let's find out what's going on. Anisha and Onisha. I'm going to a wedding party. Will you come with me? Yes, please. I'm going to the cinema. Will you come with me? No, thank you. I'm going to the butchers. Will you come with me? Yes, please. So that's how Anisha and Anisha are talking. So this is the first part of the conversation, followed by a second part and third part. By the way, these are three different parts, three independent parts. Okay. They're not so related with one another. It's more like asking a question and getting answered. So uh, one is asking and another person is answering. So that is what is happening there between Anisha and Onisha. Okay, let's have similar conversations. All right, the question we have here is called have similar conversations. Uh, the first uh, the example is also given. It's go to the Jew and a person says, I'm going to the Jew. Will you come with me? You can even say, you can say either say yes, please. Or no thank you so these are the practice questions we've got five different questions by the way let's take a look at the first one let's say let's go with number three go to the library so how can you make a conversation someone can ask or say I'm going to the library will you come with me and someone else would respond to that by saying you can either say yes please or you can even say no thank you so that is how you can respond this is the question and you got a choice between the answer you can either say yes please or no thank you so go to the library I'm going to the library will you come with me or will you please come with me yes please no thank you or Let's try another one. Go to the grocers. I'm going to the grocers. Will you come with me? Yes, please. I've got some potatoes to buy. No, thank you. I don't have anything to buy. Go to Rodigar. I'm going to the Rodigar. Will you come with me? Yes, please. I love singing and dancing. No, thank you. I have an exam coming. So that's how you can have similar conversations. All right. Let's move on to the listening section. All right, the listening section. Before going to the listening section, let's have a look at this photograph. In the photograph, you're going to see a man and a woman. So look, listen, and do. Look at the picture and answer the following questions. Are they Nepalese? Well, by looking at what they are wearing, a hat, trousers, a suit, or a coat, and pretty much same for the lady, we can assume that they are not Nepalese. What do they do? 
Well, we don't know. Maybe they're traveling. Maybe they're tourists and they want to explore more about Nepal or something like that. So we can't really be sure what they are doing. Okay. So we'll find out once we go to the listening section. Once you hear me listen. So you'll find out who these funny looking people are and what do they or let's say what are they exactly doing in Nepal. Let's go to the listening text. I'm going to read it out for you. Clever Tom and Jerry are spies. Tom is from the USA and Jerry is from Britain. Tom is two years older than Jerry. He is 22. But Jerry is the tallest. She is 10 centimeter taller than Tom. She is 1 meter 52 inches. They always wear long dark coats and hats. Tom's coat is brown and Jerry's is black. Tom has got short blonde hair and blue eyes. Jerry has got long dark hair and her eyes are the same color as Tom's. So who are they? They are Tom and Jerry's, my goodness. So these people are Tom and Jerry. So if you have ever watched that cartoon, you'd be able to relate to these cartoonish people. Tom and Jerry, they both are in fact spies. This man is from the US and this pretty lady is from the UK. Okay, now let's go to number B. It says, listen to the teacher or tape again and write the answer. Where is Jerry from? By the way, Jerry is from you can write the United States of America if you like. Is Tom British or American? Of course, he is American. Is Jerry older than Tom? No. Jerry is younger and she is younger by two years. Who's the tallest, Tom or Jerry? Jerry is the tallest. What color is Tom's coat? Tom's coat is brown and Jerry always wears black coat. Wonderful, isn't it? Now it's time to move to the reading portion. Read and answer. Where did Miss Ogre live? So the picture you can see. Quite a beautiful lady, isn't she? <laughs> I know you are smiling. So... So this lady, cranky old person right there, is known as Mrs. Ogre. And she's looking at the mirror, maybe wondering about her beauty. <laughs> Who knows, right? So for that, we've got to read what's in the chapter. Okay, let's go with the reading portion. Once upon a time, there was a very clever little girl. Her mother always told her never to follow strangers because some of them were very bad ogres. Everybody knows that ogres like to eat children for supper. Mrs. Ogre lived in the village. She was a bad ogre. Every day she went to the town to look for little children to eat. But the children were very clever. When they saw Mrs. Ogre, they ran home quickly. Mrs. Ogre got very hungry. She also became very thin. One day, she had a good idea. She put on a dress and a scarf to hide her face. I look beautiful, she said to herself looking into the mirror. She went to the town and she saw a little girl. Little girl, little girl, she said Mrs. Ogre. Come to my house. I'll give you some sweets and dolls. Will you come with me? And the little girl looked at the ogre for a long time. She looked at the beautiful dress and the red scarf, but she saw two legs with a lot of green hair. She saw the two fit, but she saw 14 toes. The toes were green and red and yellow and blue. So maybe that's how the little girl found this woman was not a normal woman, right? So let's see what happens next. 
This is a bad ogre, thought the little girl. She said, I know you. Your name is Mrs. Ogre. No, I'll not come to your house. I do not want your sweets or dolls. I'll call my father. Oh, no, cried Mrs. Ogre, and she ran away. The children in this town are very clever. She said, I'll never eat anybody here. So, children never go away with strange people when they ask you. It might be Mrs. Ogre. So, this last paragraph, the final paragraph, seems like to be its theme, or should we call it the moral of the story? Be wary of strangers. So, that's what the paragraph is trying to say. I mean, that's the lesson. Be wary of strangers. Or I can say, beware of these people. They might be ogres, monsters who like to eat children. I'm now going to give you some homework. And your homework is pretty simple. All you have to do is write T for true and F for false statements. Okay? So here are the questions. Okay, so got three questions. First one is Mrs. Ogre was a good woman. Second one, she became very thin. The last one, she gave dolls to the little girl. So I want you to solve these three questions as your homework. Okay, with this, we've come to end of today's class. If you have any questions or suggestions regarding these video series, Feel free to write us at learning at dearwalk.edu.np. Thank you so much.